This video tutorial shows you how to fabricate a complete denture according to the digital denture workflow from Ivoclar Digital. The dentist and the dental technician have to work very closely in this process. High quality, functional and aesthetic removable dentures are efficiently manufactured with this method. Start the process by taking the initial impressions. Take the anatomical impressions of the upper and lower jaw in the usual way. Alginate and polyvinyl siloxane are suitable for this purpose. Mix and use the impression material according to the instructions of the manufacturer. The resulting impression should be void free and all the important anatomical details should be visible. Remove any excess material in the posterior part of the impressions. Use a special pen to mark the dorsal margin or palatal vibrating line in the upper jaw. This line can now be transferred to the impression. You can additionally carve in the line with a colored pencil or a scalpel. Next, make a mark on the nose and on the chin. Ask the patient to wet his lips with his tongue and close his lips in a relaxed position and then to breathe out softly a few times. Measure the distance between the markings and adjust the calipers accordingly. This is the physiologic rest position. Reduce the measured value by the three millimeters of freeway space to obtain the vertical dimension. Try in the centric tray in the patient's mouth to check the available space. If alginate is your preferred impression material for this step, its consistency should be quite thick. This is achieved by mixing the powder with less water than specified by the manufacturer. Alternatively, condensation silicone putty can be used. Apply the mixed impression material to the centric tray. Create a slight mound in the upper jaw. In the lower jaw, build up a shallow ridge and shape it with the help of some cold water. Rotate the centric tray into the mouth, moving from top to bottom. Place the ridge on the lower alveolar margin. Ask the patient to close the mouth slowly until the distance measured with the calipers is attained. Now ask the patient to swallow. This will prevent strong protrusion of the lower jaw. By using centric tray, you do not need to take complete impressions of the jaws. Simply make sure that adequately large corresponding surfaces are available on the impressions so that the software can allocate the impressions accordingly. Next, attach the UTS CAD to the centric tray adapter. Adjust the basic bow of the UTS CAD parallel to the bipubillary line and the camper's plane. You have now defined the preliminary position of the patient's occlusal plane. Record the adjusted values on the scale of the UTS CAD and communicate them to the dental lab technician for the purpose of designing the 3D bite plates. The two initial impressions, the preliminary bite record and the values defined for the occlusal plane are sent to the dental laboratory for the design of the 3D bite plates.